Hey, it's Gavin here from Body Rescue. I hope you're well. So yesterday I was talking to my neighbor and her husband is struggling with his posture. And what should we say? Should we say it's a little bit shoddy? It's a bit hunchback. It's a little bit like this, okay? Which is not good. We don't want to look like that, okay? Now, Dave, he's knocking on a little bit. And he won't mind me saying that. So he's had years of a poor posture and it's got to that point where kind of needs to do something about it otherwise it's gonna get worse and ideally you don't want to get to that point so I recommended Dave a few different exercises but I also want to recommend them to you so if you've got bad posture or if you want to prevent yourself from getting that hunchback position this will definitely help now first of all you need to be aware of your posture you need to know how it feels so if you feel like that you've got to you know just look in the mirror um, ask your friends your family you know what's my posture like does it look good is, is my head starting forward do I look like a chicken so this is the common thing you have that slight rounding head poking forward all right and that that feels bad for me so I want to be a bit more upright um, but so it's one thing keeping your shoulders back because I know we're trying to keep your head back as well so I've seen people with a proper chicken head poke which is not a good look either so get your shoulders back but try and pin your head back a little bit as well now there's a couple of different exercises I recommend today and the first one was shoulder dislocation or shoulder mobility so I'm using a band for this but you can use a broom handle or just a, a long towel so roll it up and I'll do the same job okay so I'll show you what it looks like so ideally kind of right angles in your arms to start with and you push it up okay now the band is good because it has some give in it okay so we'd start here we'd go around all the way back so you can see the band stretch out there so that's where I'm tight and that's where most people are tight over that top motion especially trying to get around to the back so the band is a good good tool so if you're starting with a broom or, or a long tail make sure you get your hands wide for the first few see how it feels because I'm telling you you will notice it if you've not done this one before so the idea is kind of looking at 10 15 of these and as you get better you get a little bit more flexibility across the chest around the shoulders then you tighten it up Go that little bit more, but go slow and controlled on this one. Okay, so that's the shoulder dislocations. Our second exercise is called stick up. So the idea is you're in the movies, they stick them up. There we are, sticking them up. Okay, and the idea with this one is shoulders onto the wall, butt onto the wall. You can stand, I'm kind of slowed down a little bit here just for the video. But the idea is head back, elbows and hands touching the wall. And you slide them up, trying to keep your elbows and hands as close to the wall as possible. Bring them back down, squeeze those shoulder blades, bring them back up. Now, if you have got bad posture, then you find your shoulders coming forward, that's okay. That's kind of what happens. The idea is to try and pin them back to the wall as far back as you can without hurting yourself, of course. And you might want to start just doing the Y shape. So going out to here, pulling back. But as you get better, the idea is to go up, overhead, and back down trying to bring those elbows and your hands staying close to the wall okay moving on and our third and final exercise is the reverse fly so again I'm going to use a band for this one um, if you have your husband or your wife or one of your kids that can help you if you don't have a band then what they can do is place their hands on the back of your shoulders so they're going to stand behind you place some pressure on the back of those shoulders and you're going to try and push them apart so you're gonna try and mimic the same exercise we're gonna do with the band here using a partner or a resisted partner okay all right so it looks like this so I'm gonna go a little bit tighter here so this is to try and strengthen up the back of those shoulders and um, we literally just pull the band apart try and squeeze those shoulder blades good control don't let it slap back pull it out and again we'd look for 10 to 15 of these Good control, breathe it out as you pull apart, squeeze those shoulder blades and turn back. Now this one looks simple, looks easy almost, but it's not, I promise you, you will feel it. Okay, so try this one and see how you get on. Another tool that I recommended Dave is a shoulder brace. So I first came across one of these on a long haul flight, a guy in front of me was wearing one of these, again, just to try and keep his posture in good shape. And I've, I've seen them online and, and then I, start doing some digging so physiotherapists recommend them to, to people with shoulder posture so I thought I'd try it out and see if it was any good so yesterday I wore it for a few hours and it simply goes on over the shoulders and then you can tighten up the bands so, so the, you know how tight you want it to be or need it to be depending on how bad your posture is so it's very easy 
So I put it on for a few hours yesterday, and uh, Mrs. W took the mick out of me constantly while I was wearing it. But then I took it off, and I felt massively different. I could definitely feel it was pulling my shoulders back into the correct position. Um, and this is what I was working on the laptop, doing some work. So I took it off, and I could definitely feel the difference. So if you've got bad posture, and while those exercises I, I've showed you will definitely help, but if you've had years of poor posture and you're already getting into that hunchback position, this might be a go-to tool for you as well. So definitely check it out. It only cost me like 10 bucks. So that's something that you should look into and hopefully it will help you. So that's it for me. A little uh, posture check. So if you have any questions, uh, just let me know. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye.